Disputes can arise between homeowners and home builders or remodelers. Hopefully, you will never have to navigate one. If you do and you have a binding arbitration agreement in your contract, you will be going to arbitration, where a neutral arbitrator hears your case and makes a decision, not to court before a judge and jury. Here's what you need to know about arbitration. If the American Arbitration Association, AAA, is specified in your contract, your arbitration will be administered by the AAA, which means that you will have a time-tested, structured process. Do I need an attorney or can I represent myself? You can represent yourself. The legal term is pro se representation. However, arbitration is a binding legal process, so it is advisable to consult an attorney with experience in construction law. Most parties in arbitrations administered by the AAA are represented by counsel. For information on obtaining an attorney, you can contact the local bar association or legal service organization the AAA website at ADR.org. Who will be my arbitrator? The AAA prepares a list of arbitrators with the appropriate expertise and sends the resumes to the parties. Parties jointly select the arbitrator via a ranking process. Arbitrators are bound by the Code of Ethics for Arbitrators in Commercial Disputes, authored by a joint committee of the AAA and the American Bar Association. At the outset and throughout the case, arbitrators must disclose any prior relationships with the parties, their attorneys, or others involved in the case, such as witnesses. Those with disqualifying relationships are not permitted to serve on that particular case. Arbitrators on the AAA panel of construction arbitrators include former judges, construction attorneys, and construction industry professionals, such as architects or engineers, all experts in their fields. This expertise helps them to understand the intricacies of the case, unlike judges or juries in court who might not. AAA arbitrators are trained to manage the dispute resolution process with fairness, skill, and an eye toward time and cost efficiency. What does a AAA case manager do for me? The AAA case manager assists parties with laying out what will happen, scheduling and enforcing deadlines, facilitating swift arbitrator selection, and answering questions. Will the arbitrator need to inspect the home? Typically, this is not necessary, but an arbitrator may inspect a home if they feel it would be helpful to the decision-making process. What evidence is necessary to present my case? For a party to prevail, it must provide enough evidence to support its claims. Parties should prepare to provide a thorough review of the case from their perspective, as the arbitrator has no prior knowledge of the facts in this case. Lack of documentation may impede a successful result. The arbitrator determines what evidence is admissible in the arbitration, photos, videos, pertinent documents, such as receipts, emails, expert reports, all of which should be exchanged between the parties prior to the hearing, and how the evidence should be provided, for example, binder or electronic. During the course of the arbitration, the arbitrator or the AAA will not advise whether either party's evidence is sufficient to support the claims or defense. That decision will be made by the arbitrator in his or her final award. Describe a typical hearing. Because disputes involving homes can be so personal and emotional, the AAA and the arbitrators strive for less formality than a courtroom. Arbitrations generally resemble a business meeting, with the arbitrator directing the process from one side of the table. You can expect to present copies of all exchange documents to the arbitrator, the opportunity to tell your entire story to an independent arbitrator with knowledge of home construction projects, live witness testimony and cross-examination, typical completion of the hearing in under a day with variations due to the complexity of the dispute. Does the arbitrator explain the reasons behind the award? At a minimum, the arbitrator will include a concise written breakdown of the award and sometimes a brief reasoning for the decision. Can I recover my attorney's fees for the arbitration? Possibly, depending upon the language of the contract and the law that applies to your dispute. The AAA's rules provide that the arbitrator may grant any remedy, relief, or outcome the parties could have received in court, including attorney fees. I won my case. How do I get the opposing side to pay me? Many parties will follow the arbitrator's decision voluntarily. 
If they do not, the prevailing party may go to court where the award can be confirmed and enforced as if it were a court judgment. Each state sets its own rules and laws for compelling a party to satisfy the award. There are also important time limitations for which you have to bring the matter to court once the arbitrator has made his or her award. The AAA and arbitrators are not involved in the case after the final award is delivered to the parties. But if I lose, can I appeal the decision? Arbitration awards are final and binding. The AAA offers optional appellate rules that require agreement by both parties before the arbitration begins. If the parties agree to use the AAA to handle the appeal, the AAA will treat the appeal like a new case filing. Under federal and state laws, there are only a limited number of ways to challenge an arbitrator's award in court. How does mediation differ from arbitration? Mediation is a process by which parties submit their dispute to a neutral third party, the mediator, who works with them to craft their own solution to their dispute. Parties can consider mediation prior to or even concurrently with arbitration.